I'm going to be addressing the situation that comes up very often with our students and I just thought I'd finally make it public. And this is with Native Instruments Contact. Now Native Instruments Contact, I'm using 8 Ultimate at the moment. Uh, some of you might have already upgraded to 9 or the recently released 10. And um, what happens is that you're not able to access the library when you move it. And if you have many, many libraries, such as the case when you have the complete library, you'll find that if you move any of your library folders, such as what you see here, into another location with a different label and effectively a different volume, you'll find that your contact does not automatically find that library. In fact, it completely disappears. And I'll just show you what's going on here. All right, I'm loading up contact five. And as you can see here, I've got pretty much all the libraries that, well, should be there except for one I purchased during Black Friday, which was the giant. Now, I've got, got my library installed to Resident MHS, which is actually the main um, laptop I'm using currently. Inside a volume called Server HD, users shared, and um, well, this is a preferred location upon installation. And uh, when I was moving from my uh, Mac Mini server, it was also located in main drive grid server HD in, a, in the same path. And in order to make my migration um, as fast as possible, I basically cloned the hard disks as they were on the other computer. Of course, I had to prune a few things down because I didn't have space limitations such as what I have here, which is about 500 gig. Anyhow, um, the giant is not appearing here inside the contact library. And as you can see, it's not in my shared location. However, what I did, and um, I'm just going to show you the results, or rather how to get around it quickly, was I moved the giant library into a folder which I created called users shared. I'm just going to delete that because it will make my demonstration a little bit useless. Okay. Now here I have the giant library, and if I just bring up uh, calculable sizes, you'll see that it's 3.92 gig big. And um, as you see on the right here, this hard disk is pretty low on space and at roughly 10% capacity. Ideally, I would like to move out approximately, okay, there we go, 211 gig. In the ideal world, I would move it to this drive, which is currently used for my Ableton factory packs, which also take up a considerable amount of space, as you can see, 61 gig. And by moving all this off, I'll have a more breathy, well, main hard disk. So rather than spend uh, one and a half hours copying everything, which will be a very long video, I'm just going to show you how it works with one library, which is the giant library. As I said, I moved this out earlier from here and it's not appearing here. So using a utility called Symbolic Linker, which is actually covered by Macworld Magazine, I didn't know that, you're actually able to create um, something a little bit more powerful than an alias. And this alias is, um, it provides an absolute path. The advantage of this is that you could, for example, take the giant library, which is in a well, different location, different library, and you can create a symbolic link. Now I'm using Mavericks here, and what it does is it creates a option to make symbolic link, which is under services. Why is it under services? Well, that will go down to the way it's installed. I'll run through that later on in the video. All right, so let's proceed and let's have a look at the results. Services, make symbolic link. All right, now, you would ideally want to rename it to the giant library. However, this is not going to work because you already have a folder called the giant library and symbolic links actually behave like folders in, in terms of referencing and opening. And there you go, there's the arrow right there. So what you could do is maintain the folder structure that you had with your initial installation of contact and the necessary libraries would complete. And all you have to do is just drag in the respective library into. I notice how it's green, that means it's going to go into the whole folder. Whoops, yep, there we go. And it's made a folder called the Giant Library Symlink. 
All I'm going to do is press return and delete the word sim link. Now I'm going to open up contact. You can actually delete this with no problems. So open up contact five. And let's see, we have the giant, which wasn't there before. Let's see if it actually works. Pretty good. Like, it definitely works. So that is how you can create sim links. Um, I've actually got uh, in temp the giant library. I can get rid of that now because, well, it worked. Let's try it with another one. So I'm going to go to temp. Just going to delete that folder. We don't need it. Let's take something that's not too big. How about West Africa Library? All right, do we have that here? West Africa Library, yes we do. I'm just gonna delete that and load up. Okay, it works. I'm gonna quit contact and I'm gonna drag in. West Africa Library. Now I'm using Command in combination with Drag to actually move the library. Shouldn't take too long, it's 1.4 gigabytes. I'm just sipping my coffee. Oh, there goes my air freshener. I'm obviously going to cut this out. Mm, could this take a little longer? Maybe I should have used the pause function. If ain't got so la 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 This is taking so long La 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 Ten more seconds to go oh Five more seconds to go oh La 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 Okay The West Africa Library is no longer visible from that folder because I moved it And let's try opening up contact What do you know? My African library is missing. Okay. Well, how do we fix that? Simple right click services if you're Mavericks. Make symbolic link. Drag it to the original location, which was. Yeah. Oh no, I missed. It's bad. I might undo. Command Z. Oh, I can't undo. Where'd that go exactly? Oh, there it is. Lucky, lucky pig. Let's delete that. It's in use, never mind, continue. Okay, I actually prefer doing this. I'm gonna hold command and double click and open that there. And I can easily just drag this. Oh gosh, I'm really not good at this, I apologize. I'm using a trackpad. Okay, let's drag that here to shared. And uh, there it is, West Africa Library Simlink. Just so everything works as seamlessly as possible. Delete that. Oh, look at that, I've got 55 gig free. If I keep this up, I'm gonna have 260 gigabytes free, which is exciting. All right, now, you can also use this uh, sort by kind, so you can check on your status here. Um, it'll do kind and then by alphabet, which makes things a lot clearer for you to maybe decide if you wanna move certain libraries first and then you can see what you've done and then come back to it later. That's usually how I like to roll with this. All right. So the next test is to open our contact and see if we have our library. I'm going from SSD to uh, an external USB 3 hard disk, portable kind, which is pretty good. I'm getting about 70 megabytes per second on it. And um, obviously there'll be a little bit of a drop, actually a significant drop, but shouldn't be too bad. Let's load up what we loaded up earlier. Double click. And it works. In fact, it wasn't too bad at all. Right. Uh, in terms of how to install this amazing program called Symbolic Linker, which is well the key to all of this, let's just delete this. Is nothing more difficult than pretty much typing in this link, which I'll copy in at the description section. And uh, all you need to do is just go down to the link here and download Symlinker. Symbolic linker. I've already downloaded it, so um, let's just cancel that. Let's press this here. Okay, so we're being a downloads folder. If you're using Safari, um, Chrome, 
up to you, depending on where you've saved it, chosen to save it. Just proceed by double clicking. That will open up the DMG. And you'll see a few, uh, well, if I was in here, installation instructions goes without saying, tells you how to install this. If you're Mavericks, you can shortcut to what, or excuse me, you can shortcut to pretty much installing the service. And the best way to do that is to go to Finder, click, actually no, you don't have to go to Finder like that. If you're in Finder already, press Command N, love shortcuts. Then press Command Up, which will take you to Users. Effectively, you're going into the root library folder. So you go into library and chances are you will not have the services folder unless you have installed other services. So what we want to do here is um, just show you what I do, which is make a new folder, Command Shift N. Finder will want to ask for your password because this is a protected folder. Um, go ahead and type uh, services after you've authorized that. Services. And press enter and it will make your folder for you. I'm just going to delete that because I don't need it. Okay, and following that, go into services and simply drag symbolic, serv uh, symbolic linker service into the services folder. Okay, in this case I've already got it there, so go ahead and do that. Just stop. Now in order to actually run the service, it's recommended that either you reboot or you log out and log back in again. Uh, you can also just double click the symbolic linker service and that will load up into memory, which will then allow you to use... Oops, that's not supposed to happen. Apologies. Let's wait for that to go away. Uh, which will then unlock the option to make symbolic link. I uh, notice here it's actually on the first uh, first tier of the menu, but uh, if you were to do it on a folder, it will come under services because there'll obviously be more options for folders. In my case, I've got services for vSender and so on. Okay. And that is how you can move your contact library with minimal headaches. Thank you for watching. To everyone he meets.